where does he get those wonderful toys? At the DC Collectibles Party at San Diego Comic Con 2016, of course. I'm here about to check out all these amazing products from the DC Comics Rebirth, the new DC movies, uh, Batman, Black and White, Wonder Woman 75th, all sorts of toys and goodies to check out. So come with me and uh, let's have a look. The DC Comics Icons action figures coming out late 2016 and all the way through 2017 feature all of the cool designs from the new DC Comics relaunch, including we have the Batman with the purple interior cape and the yellow outline around his bat signal, Aquaman designs, we have the new Superman design, and one of the things I'm really excited about is in particular we have Batgirl of Burnside design, her action figures, and she comes on her own bat cycle with an alternate head sculpt. There's no overstating how big Suicide Squad is at San Diego Comic Con this year. We got uh, great sculpts of the Joker, Harley Quinn of course is our main attraction for the Suicide Squad movie, but also Captain Boomerang, Killer Croc, Katana, and Will Smith as Deadshot. Also included in the DC Icons action figure set are these figures from the Batman and Superman animated series. We have uh, a giant Batwing figure that's coming out in November 2016. That thing is massive. It looks like we could fit Batman and Robin in it. Riddler, Catwoman. We have comic book's favorite romantic pair, which is Superman and Lois Lane together at last in the Superman animated series action figure set. And we have some alternate hands for these guys as well. The DC Comics bombshell line has been an enormous success for DC collectibles. And right here we have the action figures of Wonder Woman, Poison Ivy, Batwoman, and Harley. And these are coming out April 2017. The classy yet classic design on the bombshell statues continues with Katana, who's entering the fray. She looks like she's ready to do some damage. And we also have busts coming out from Mira, Supergirl, and Wonder Woman. Really just accentuates how this line is unique, distinct, and I've become a favorite amongst fans. Happy birthday, Wonder Woman. Of course, it's Wonder Woman's 75th birthday, and there's a lot of wonderful products on display at the DC Collectibles event. The two that you really should pay attention to is this Gotham City Garage Wonder Woman that's coming out in the fall. Look at those tattoos on her arm. Incredibly detailed, really nifty looking statue here. She looks pretty tough for the Gotham City crowd, so I like that. We also should pay attention to this statue. This actually just literally arrived at the DC Collectibles event, and this is a movie statue from next year's Wonder Woman movie. Of course, that's Gal Gadot as Diana, and then we have Chris Pine as Steve Trevor, and it looks like a pretty pointy sword there as well. So a lot of cool Wonder Woman items on the way. Check this out. This is Wonder Woman polystone statue from Batman vs Superman. It is like having a miniature Gal Gadot. Of course you can see the real hair on her head. You can see the armor that even has like all the scratches and nicks that we saw in Batman vs Superman. Looks like she's about to come to life and take out Doomsday and incredibly, incredibly lifelike. Wonder Woman, would you call the DC Collectibles event at San Diego Comic-Con a rousing success? Okay, no comment from Princess Diana. However, I think that we know for a fact that DC Comics has some amazing collectibles on the way throughout 2016 and 2017. So I'm Aaron Sagers. This is Princess Diana reporting from San Diego Comic-Con 2016. even with the involvement